on the Popcorn channel and today here with me Lucas and Erika. Hi! Hi! And um, today we are talking about South Africa. Mm -hmm. Can you show us Africa on the map? Yeah. Um, Africa is right here on the globe. And where is South Africa? South Africa? Right here, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, I know that um, it was quite a long trip for you here to the United States. You started in South Africa, then you spent quite a while in London. Yes. And then you moved here, right? Yeah. And can you tell in a couple of words um, what you miss the most about South Africa, what South African traditions like, what is for you, what food people cook there? <laughs> okay. Um, I really miss South Africa. What I miss there the most is um, my family and friends. We had to leave everyone behind. I wish I could bring everyone with me. Um, that's what I miss the most. The food, not all the food is the same. Um, you can't always get everything here. Um, like I remember the mayonnaise. We mm -hmm. had like a really good mayonnaise in South Africa and it was difficult to find mm -hmm. something here that is sort of similar. Um, traditional food, I would say, um, people eat a lot of meat. Um, breakfast, lunch and dinner, <laughs> a lot of meat. Even for breakfast? Even for breakfast, yes. Um, yeah, if we eat a lot of meat, it would be like, um, traditionally I would say like meat, rice and potatoes. That mm -hmm. is like the traditional food that everybody sort of eats there. Okay, interesting. And do, do you cook the, the African food at home? Do you, because you, do you like it? Yeah, some of it. Mm -hmm. um, all of it <laughs> Why not all of it? Is it spicy or um, is, it's just different? It's kind of different. Just different. Okay, and what what are your favorites? Um, Biltong. Mm -hmm. What what sauce are? I don't. I yeah. The first time I hear this. Ah, uh, biltong. Um, so we have biltong and um, drierwurst. It okay. is really really good. It's also meat. And mm -hmm. um, biltong is a dried meat. Mm -hmm. It's not anything like jerky mm -hmm. that we get here. Um, it's dried, so it's mm -hmm. meat that goes through a process and you dry it. Mm -hmm. And same with this, like a sausage mm -hmm. that you you hang it up and it, and, and it gets dry. I believe I know these ones. We have it. They have it back in Europe too, right? But it's like the really, even in Italy, the really dry sausage, yes. like like the hard hard dry salami or something, right? So it's and um, it is. Different than okay. you know me, yes. Okay. It is more meaty like a like a beef. Okay. Yeah. That that they hang out to dry and it is really good, yeah. Yeah, because the the Easter is coming. I wanted to ask you about the Easter. Do you celebrate Easter back in Africa? I know like it's it's pretty much like they, do, they, they have a whole bunch of different religions there, right? Yes. But people do celebrate Easter too, right? Yes, we do. We have Easter weekend in uh -huh. South Africa, so there's no work in school on uh -huh. the Friday and the Monday. Uh -huh. Same in London, um, it's like an Easter uh -huh. weekend, no school Mon um, Friday to Monday. The whole weekend is uh -huh. off. Um, really good, you, you, you just always get together as a family mm -hmm. um, or with your family, with your friends, you get together and um, South Africa is all about barbecue mm -hmm. so traditionally you would come together it's um, still summer in South Africa now and just going into autumn so you can still have like a very nice outside barbecue grill um, so you'll get together with your, with your family to do that Something else traditionally you might put like a roast of lamb in the mm -hmm. oven with potatoes and um, carrots and onions. That is also traditional. Um, the other thing that we do is we hide eggs and chocolate bunnies. We hide mm -hmm. that in the garden for the kids. Also, oh, you do the, the egg hunt too, right? Yes, the egg hunt. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> because for me, egg hunt was new. We don't have it back. Oh, home. yeah. Uh, but, but what do we color the eggs, like the actual eggs, mm -hmm. we, we put it in different colors and is it something you would do back in 
No. Okay. Well, not not me or my um. It's not something that I grew up okay. with. Yeah. Okay. I've seen it, but I think um, it's it's not a baby South African thing. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So we're all different, but we have a lot in common, right? Yes. And today we're cooking. We're just going to make South African pancakes. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a very different from American pancakes because it's a big flat one mm -hmm. and the American ones are round and, and thick. Yeah. So it's um is it something like the French crepes? It is. Okay. Um, I would say it is a little bit like that, mm -hmm. but not exactly the same. Perfect. <laughs> and is uh this pancakes is the food you could get for Easter too? Is it something traditional or it's just the the comfort food you would it is definitely a comfort food. Okay. I love pancakes. It's one of my favorite South African things. Lucas loves pancakes and we sometimes just make it for dinner mm -hmm. at my house. And um, it's not a traditional Easter thing. You might, you, I would say for lunch or dinner. Okay. Just something light, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you have that big roast of mm -hmm. lamb mm -hmm. and you, you don't feel like eating a lot in the evening. Mm -hmm. Just make some pancakes and have it as a light meal. All right. So should we start? Yes, we can. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about your apron. Actually, it looks. Um, I feel like I can understand some of the words, but not really. So, <laughs> what language is that? This is Afrikaans. So me and my husband are both um, Afrikaans, South Africans, and um, there are a lot of. Um, languages in South Africa and um, we are Afrikaans. These are Afrikaans words and um, it's from South Africa and um, my husband's mother got it for him actually. Mm -hmm. So it is and what we've got here is I think we've got bilzo, mm -hmm. the meat, mm -hmm. the dried meat and I don't want to tell you like right? Yes. <laughs> and dribuna sloi is a salad, mm -hmm. a bean salad. And yeah. And what what are the pretty gorgos tea? Good one. That is um tea. I know this one. Yeah, it it it, it grows on the bushes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it has this like fruity flavor and it's red in color. It is. Okay. And yeah, yeah, I only get it in South Africa. And it's caffeine free. Yeah, yeah. You do like it? Mm -hmm. Yes. I had, my favorite was one with the marzipan. Oh. We had it like I believe it was just scented with the marzipan. Yes. But it was one of my favorites. Sounds good. So I saw you brought a big bag of interesting stuff. Can yes. I start looking at it? Yes, we can. Okay, this is just a little book. It's like a kid's um, cookbook. Don the Thief Publishers is like a very well known, mm -hmm. or it, maybe it was well known in South Africa. It's really interesting. So, um, it's pretty old, right? So, it's it like, is, yeah. <laughs> it's fun to cook, I love it. Amazing. Yeah, you try this? I know you like cooking actually. It does. Yeah. Well, and it has everything, like all the, the tools you need for the cooking and it's so well illustrated. Yes, it's, it's very really cool. like step by step guide for kids how to cook. I love this book. <laughs> I need to ask you to uh, to look at it. Yes. Then I just have some flour. Oh, and I like this um, box too. <laughs> um, my box that I bought from South Africa, Snowflake, is our um, flour that we have in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Very very good flour to bake with. Um, the flour that I have in here is not from South Africa. <laughs> it's yeah, just a two big plates that we're going to need for later. Really beautiful. Yeah, can you sh show it to us? Really? <laughs> beautiful is that ceramics, right? I think so, yeah. yes. I've got two measuring cups. The lactose free. Yes. Interesting. And this is just some oil. 
put that board in another, another container. So this is my pan. And we can use your stand. Okay. But it's um because I'm used to it. Yeah, the only thing this is funny because um it should be just the exactly the size he likes. Oh I, I see. believe it might fit. We have everything here now. Yeah, I've got the electric whisk as well because okay. sometimes um this one doesn't work that yeah. well that you just need to give it like a good spin. Yeah. So it's up to you, yeah, we can um and I have the electric mixer too, we can turn it on and it's up to you, just let me know. Okay. Let we'll me know how, how I can it. help you and yeah, I'm ready to help. Thank you. So we're on the same page. <laughs> it's, it's the, <laughs> I believe that for me the hardest was to adapt to, actually, and I didn't adopt it. I, I, I still keep looking for the recipes and grams and happily yeah. most of the well-known cook's recipes are in grams, yes. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, so we need 250ml of cake flour. It's this one. You see? Mm -hmm. Look at that. You can just put it in. It's fine like that. Thank you. Perfect. Then it's one milliliter of salt. So what I just usually do is put a little bit of salt in there. I think that was a little bit too much. And look at it like that. That, mm -hmm. that looks fine. So I we just put that in. Put it there. Then we've got half a cup of milk. It's this one. Okay. What's your favorite grocery stores here? Where do you buy like all, most of your groceries? I really like Fred Meyer. Mm -hmm. of, uh, water. So get some water there. Take it and just flip it. Perfect. Then it says two milliliters of oil. So I'll just put some oil in there. That sort of looks fine. Yeah. Beautiful. And one egg. Yay! <laughs> you love cracking yeah, the egg. Breaking, yeah, kids, kids like it. <laughs> breaking eggs is the best. Good. There you go. Perfect. And you can give it to me, I'll just throw it away. Thank you. That is all the ingredients, and now you can start whisking it. So, do you believe you find with this whisk, or you do, do you want the electric one? Um, I think we're going to need the electric one. Okay. Here it comes. Okay. Tell me when to stop. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that looks better. Now we're going to use it now to use this little plate that she has and then make the first pancake. I mean, it's up to you because my mom won't do it. <laughs> we have something, we have something similar, like the dish, but it's what I usually do. It's oh. just so why I've got the two plates is when I make the pancakes, I put them in here, and then I put this other plate on top of it to keep the pancakes warm. And also, it really helps to keep make. It actually makes the pancake softer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when the pancake comes from the pan, mm -hmm. it might look really hard. Mm -hmm. But when you put it in there with the other pancakes, it becomes really soft. Perfect. So that really works. And I saw some cinnamon and sugar in the recipe book. Yes. So we're going to sprinkle it over or? Yes, afterwards. Perfect. Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. I would love to try it. Okay, let's try one. Yeah, we can start frying. Yes. And also, um, you can you can make um, tuna and mayo, and then you can mix it together and put it on pancakes. Ah, oh, so you do the savory filling too, not only the the uh, sweet one. Perfect. Yes, and my husband loves to put butter on his pancake. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe have like one pancake just with butter mm -hmm. and then another pancake, like you said, we mix tuna and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I, th I think a lot of South Africans do that where they mm -hmm. mix tuna and mayonnaise and put it on a sandwich and so we put it in the pancake. Interesting. And you can even make like a mince meat mm -hmm. and then a flavoured mince meat and put that inside of the pancake. Actually it's something I would do too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay, okay, let's try one. And you can also do the tuna mayo with um, noodles. Oh, with, with the noodles? It's interesting, I never heard about this one. So it's some kind of special noodles, just the... Um, um, kind of like any type of noodle. Okay, interesting. There you go. Okay. That is that's good, I can flip it. Oh, great. Beautiful. Nice. Is mm -hmm. it your favorite um, dish for the lunch? Yeah. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay. And it doesn't need to be in there very long, which okay. is it's Just nice. Yeah. Enough to get a little bit golden. Yeah. I can sort of check to see what it looks on the other side. Yeah, I think that is perfect. Do you want to switch places with me if it's... Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And then we just need to put this flat on top to keep it warm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it around. This one. So we have to start from the first one. Oh, it got stuck here. <laughs> there you go. Looks good and smells so well. And you can help yourself. Thank you. And what do we do next? Do we put the... You put the sugar on. Or Nutella. Yes, that's Ooh. the other one you can put on as well. I bet my kids would love it. Yes. Make sure the whole pancake is full of sugar. Ooh. There you go. And then, can you roll it up? I'm a big fan of sugar. <laughs> Let's try it. Mm, it is good. <laughs> Would you drink it with tea or just with milk or just have it like that? Um, just like this. I think it is something that you can have with milk, mm -hmm. or tea and coffee. Mm -hmm. I like it. Thank you so much for being here with us, cooking with us. Um, have a happy Easter and we see you soon here on the Popcorn channel. Bye! Bye! Bye.